Very cool. Hey guys, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We are in Nashville at Summer NAM 2017. We're talking over a very loud noise. I'm talking to Ilya from Plus Pedals. Uh, Ilya, you guys are out of Latvia, right? Uh, that's right, Sean. We are out of Latvia. Uh, so our company is called Game Changer Audio, and we're uh, promoting the product called Plus Pedal. Okay. Yeah. So does that mean you're like a distributor of other of brands, or uh, no? We are the inventors of Plus Pedal. So uh, here you can. This is just your first project, and you're going to do more. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so. Once we get done with this, uh, with the you know the pressing uh, matters of this one, then uh, we'll start innovating further you know all right well let's talk about this innovation it's got like a, a like a piano style pedal on it it's obviously a sustaining device it's just called the plus uh, yeah it's called the plus pedal so uh, yeah the plus pedal uh, it loops the signal of your audio uh, into a continuous smooth like kind of sustaining layer and uh, there's many controls and many ways to to use and manipulate those layers in very like uh, natural sounding kind of ways so uh so so four knobs blend sustain rise and tail that's right so uh, kind of explain the, well blend is kind of obvious but yeah so the blend is, is volume rise and tail this is the fade in and fade out speed of that signal and sustain is a uh, is kind of a like a magical knob that gets all kinds of different uh, applications you know depending on the other settings so uh do you mind if I show you just the basic uh, the basic mode? I don't mind. I, I want you to, man. Right, so right now I'm playing. Uh, I have a, a slight fade in. I have a slight fade out, and the sustain is somewhere. Yeah, somewhere somewhere on the middle. So basically, this is uh, going to be a very natural sounding setting uh, that's like trying to emulate the natural behavior of a string, sort of the closest you'll get to a to a middle like damper pedal on the piano. And that's what you already played for us. Pretty much, yeah. So uh, like here's a here's a basic chord. Right? So uh, right now as long as I have my foot on on there, uh, I can uh, do whatever I want. I can un unplug the guitar or I can start like playing some stuff on top. Or now I'll change the chord. That's pretty much it. So that was our idea when we first started the project. But then later on, uh, we added a whole bunch of different features and uh, quite psychedelic stuff as well. Some of let's it. hear some of the psychedelic stuff. All right, let's hear some psychedelic stuff. So uh, if you max out the tail knob, then there's going to be constant spillover from each layer that you sustain. Right. And now I can achieve multiple layers. Uh, so. Imagine, uh, like, basic. Imagine if you're a horn player, you can do this now. Right. So, uh, and also, uh, there's a mode called wet mode. So you engage it with a special foot switch, or you can do it uh, with a toggle switch on the side. But this is easier, so you don't have to bend down. So now I'm only uh, I'm only using the su the sustained layers. I'm blocking out any dry signal from my guitar whatsoever. So right. So now when this is on, I can play three bar chords and uh, and do this. Shout out to Twin Pe Twin Peaks fans everywhere. Like uh, that's what I like about this the most. Like I've never been a very like uh, you know uh, like a computer kind of guy fiddling with sound effects and soundscapes and like come from a pretty bluesy background myself. And uh, it's I find it really cool that like uh, a guy like me can uh, press a few buttons and a few power chords and create quite cinematic things, you know. So I think. Uh, Cool. So the 
beginning was almost like a David Lynch soundtrack or something. Now, so, I mean, I don't personally play like some of the other sample and hold devices on the market. I haven't really experimented with them a lot, but this is different from what you can do with them, right? You can't like do those multiple layers with others. Is that true? Uh, so, as far as I know, not really. Yeah, so this, this has a plenty of unique features, like the multiple layers, like the gradual fading in of them, and like the, the really detailed control you get. Also, like for instance, we have a pretty cool feature which is called the effects loop. So as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of other pedals lined up here. Yeah. And uh, let's say, uh, so let's say we'll use the Boss Harmonist, right? So there's an effects loop on the side of this pedal. Let me just uh, show you on this one. You see, uh, yeah, there's a simple, like easy access effects loop. So now you can put any pedal you like. Uh, and channel it only to the sustained uh, signal, right? So, for instance, uh, okay, let me uh, switch on the tremolo. So let's do a chord. So now this chord is, you know, uh, pulsating. Now is it only applying the side loop to the sustained part, but not what you're playing? Exactly, yeah. So now let's try a boss harmonist, right? So one note. And now let me... Uh let's try a different note. It's uh, you know, there's a, it's kind of a bottomless pit of experimentation, kind of. Let's do the uh, the shimmer reverb. Let's do it. Let's do it in the wet only mode, right? So once again. Cool, man. You could like start your own uh, avant-garde motion picture soundtrack scoring yeah, career with that. That's the fun part of it. So uh, all you bedroom players definitely need this, and uh, all you bl uh, blues and jazz players, this is also, you know, as I showed in the beginning, a fantastic tool for voice leading and comping and uh, be pretty much being a one-man band in a way, you know. Yeah. So, so Ilya, how much does the plus pedal go for? Uh, at the moment, uh, it's uh, two eighty-nine from our website, which is double. Uh, plus 289 US dollars. Exactly, yeah. So it's uh, uh, pluspedal.com. Please come and check out the website. There's all kinds of videos up there. We've got videos with cellos, uh, video with trombone, bass, uh, all kinds of cool, uh, like detailed descriptions of the features and stuff. And, uh, you know, yeah. I'll also, like our social media stuff, and uh, you can definitely just chat with us, you know? Great. Thanks, Ilya. Thanks for joining us, guys. I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com.